what's up so um in this video right i'm gonna give you a update on the harvest farming strategy i think now is a really good time to farm harvest because the compass is not very expensive and um moving on later to the league as the weeks goes by the compass will be very expensive okay so if you're not farm now is a really good time to farm as of now of making this video otherwise uh after maybe next week or something like that, it might even go up double the price. Okay, so yeah, quick update. <clears throat> so what has changed? Um, I'm also farming this uh, right now, actually. So um, these are the two side contents that I have included. I'm just going to open the first one first, which is basically what I added was shines. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce this, but basically common spirit. Okay, and... Um, what how does the torment spirit work basically up to five rare monsters in each of your maps are possessed and their minions are touched means literally five packs of monsters will be touched and all of them will have 90 percent quantity increase okay and of course if you see a tormented spirit um you can always go near it to let yourself be possessed and then if the uh, secret growth is near you that's the best okay just go in quickly click one of the crops um, activate and run and all of your crops uh, all of the plants will be touched as well and they will have 90% corn increase that's a lot okay but most likely most of the time you should be able to only touch like one crop the most okay unless unless um, the tormented spirit is inside the sacred growth itself it does happen right and yeah um the additional thing is just uh taking up more shrines because there are really no uh much option over here so this is going to fill out the gap of one three two points if you do not have so much points then um i will suggest to just take out this four first <clears throat> all right the additional shrine can't be compared to all of the corn nodes because the corn nodes is going to help us increase the amount of life force we get Okay, and the second option is basically Harbinger. Okay, Harbinger has always been really good. Um, however, I understand that Harbinger takes a lot of time. Okay, it really takes up a lot of time. As compared to Shrine, where you know, you just kill and go. Okay, Harbinger takes up a lot of time. And yes, another thing I want to mention is for Shrines, right? It's actually very good, especially when you use with the Domination Map mod. Um... Because when the shrine spawns at one of the corners, so let's say I'm doing CD square. Okay, if shrine spawns at one of the corners of the map, it actually opens up a small little additional area. And this little additional area right, actually adds on to an additional pack of, let's say, saving and such or it or world monsters. Right? So shrine is really good here. Okay, back to Harbinger. For Harbinger, we need a lot of points, right? So uh gonna completely remove a uh, tormented spirit and you're just gonna allocate uh shrines as well and you're just gonna allocate the full spectrum of harbinger right and then you're just gonna use harbinger map uh mod to go your map will have at least four harbinger otherwise five the downside is you will take longer time to do definitely <clears throat> okay definitely but you have a lot more chance to get, actually get the fracturing shot Right, so uh, for those of you that likes to do hobby, uh, good luck out there. Uh, Harbinger also actually, it just hidden or it's just like a, a secret thing that actually buffs up the whole entire pack of monsters. Right, I don't really know how it works, but I have experimented this with some of uh, my friends. And without Harbinger, right, the monsters, the packs of monsters, the pack size actually in your maps is actually lesser. But when I put Harbinger, right, it it definitely feels a lot more. Okay, so it's kind of a weird interaction there, but yeah. Alright. And um <clears throat> with that said, um you need to roll now with the changes, right? You need to roll 24% pack size. Exactly or more than 24% pack size, at least, okay? Because they remove fortune favor the brief. So we now no longer have the additional 10% pack size and this is a little bit of a problem to reach the 50%. So what do you do is you go regex. Okay. And um, there's a uh, mild change over here. So okay, I'll reset first. This is the default setting. Alright. 
you need to untake this optimized pack size value okay so let's say if i put 24 if it's optimized it will only count as 20 percent pack size but if you don't optimize it will be exactly 24 or more okay exactly and from here onwards then you you know you can select um which mods that you don't want to do and stuff like that so for me um uh i'm playing coc it's actually just nice right so i'll just copy uh whatever mods that you have row and paste over here and those that are light up are basically more than 24 percent back size and um they are good to go for you all right so this is how you roll your maps as for the compass okay i, have to, I actually have not checked it today but yesterday i bought it for 28c so yeah it's around there okay it's around 28 to 29c um i think this is a really good price uh for now to actually farm harvest uh one compass right at 28c is going to give you about let's say nearly okay nearly one divine worth of life force that's a lot that's how much it is so you can see just by paying 28 right you're gonna profit maybe um okay i'm gonna give a very safe range okay so i'll say you profit about 0 0.7 diff per compass right so uh do take note of this this is really very good and yeah if you really want uh additional like guarantee for a sacred growth it's actually quite expensive now it's like 40c so i wouldn't really recommend doing this unless you are doing a very fixed or target farming strategy with uh harvest right so i don't really recommend um as for the colors of the crops just take anything now all of the all of the um what is that all of the crops are actually the same price right now i can show you a pretty quick one if i were to go to bug exchange so usually i'll press the divine and i'll just click this to briefly you know see the price so it's like nine thousand for red ones uh the red life force yellow is going for also around nine thousand okay i'm just estimating all right and then blue is also nine thousand so as of now right it's going to be all the same price so it doesn't matter what color you take <clears throat> however as the leak goes on into the weeks the yellow is going to be more expensive i would say nearly double okay nearly double of what the current uh purple or blue life force is so yeah just to take note of that Okay, uh, I'm going to just quickly show you four of my maps that I do and you can roughly see like how many times you actually encounter harvest in your maps. I would say about at least two times, at least two times in your maps. Okay, let's go. All right, so here we go. I have four city square map, a compass and the scarabs are already in my map device. So I'm just going to take all of them out. Take the compass, throw in the compass into any of your watchstones. All right, so four scarabs. Okay, uh, I'll just be using rusted scarabs. It's more than enough if you if you can reach twenty four percent pack size. All right. Otherwise, if you don't want to reach twenty four percent pack size, then you're gonna buy a poly scarab, which is gonna cost more expensive. All right. So, um, my current skill tree is the one that I'm using with shrine and of course the tormented spirit. Right, and just gonna click domination. Make sure you use searing exact and just go. Right, just go. <clears throat> so this is map number one, and all the and the end of the maps, I will just uh, quickly show you how much life force I've collected in total. Ooh, the bosses are tanky in this map. Okay, kill the boss and continue on with your max. Oh, so I got one uh, possessed monster right there. I've actually killed him already. And this is this is actually a beyond map. Yeah, this is a beyond map. For some reason, I don't know why beyond. Uh, whenever there is beyond mods, my POE will always. Um, Leg a little bit more, and my FPS will drop. Okay, so it's pretty unfortunate. I have not seen a single ultra until now. 
so it's actually quite sad. Um, this do happen, okay? This do happen. Ooh, nice. He got the big um, shrine. I don't know what exactly is that thing called, but. Is that a boss? Oh, thank god. Thank god, because I, I really don't want the. I really do not want the Beyond. And it's taking so long to kill him, but it's fine. Okay, he's dying soon. Come on, get out of here. Okay, let me continue on with my map. Okay, I seen one harvest. So along the way, right, if you actually see an altar that can increase corn and you know the minion rewards are pretty bad, you can take those. Okay, it's gonna increase the amount of life force you get. So this is number one. There's only one rare monster. Okay. Oh yes, I forget to sh show the pack size of this map after this. After this. So you can see there are two rare monsters. Okay. Um, just now earlier on the clock, I actually it was only shown that there's one rare monster. Okay. So because of the pack size, I actually got two. So there we go. There's sixty percent pack size. I think because this map was thirty one percent, so it's a lot higher. Right. And you can see when you got two rare monsters, the life force just doubles it up. Okay. Oh, nice. I have three over here. Oh, this is really good. Let's go. I'm gonna put this one side. Let's hope we have six. Oh my god, that's five rare monsters right there. And that's really scary. Look at the amount of life force we have. <laughs> that is a lot of life force just from two crops. <clears throat> I think my voice is really breaking man. Um yeah, I'm just gonna take yellow. Oh nice, we have four res. So both of the res duplicated themselves. 180 look at the amount it's like it's all of them is like always in like 100 plus okay this is because this is a high corn mat also um oh my god there's another tree here wow this okay this harvest is really really very good okay i think this is one of the few harvests that you will encounter that you are lucky with the um what is that the the life force Actually, there's, there's more, right? Oh no, it's done. Okay, so I only had four rares in this tree. Uh, in this crop. Okay, and with that, you're done. And then just continue the rest of the map. Finish up all of the, uh, the map. Just go one round. Yeah, I'm gonna take the chaos off. Good paper currency because I'm still poor I'm still like super poor so stuff like this right okay this is a very good example of the altar I can show you right now see the chance to drop a corrupted unit item this is not so good for you right so player gains um, quantity and rarity items found uh, all damage from his can scorch you I'm ailment immune so I can take this right so this is a kind of scenario whereby you can take this instead and look, there is a shrine at the corner of the map, right? And it actually spawns more um, searing exarch monsters because of that corner. And that's why I say shrine is actually very good if you are doing searing exarch in CD Square. It just opens up more uh, monster count for the searing exarch monsters. Gosh, my voice is dying. <laughs> okay, so first map. I am not going to put anything. Okay, look at this man. Look at this. This is just the first map. Okay. We have a 26% pack size now. I'm going to show you uh, how many pack size you have in map. But okay, that aside, I have 1,000 and 3,000. Guys, this is really nearly half of leaf just from one map. Okay, I mean, yes, it is lucky. Usually, you should get about 2,000 per harvest. 
Okay, usually at least, at least. Unless you're super lucky. Hello, can you come inside me? Oh yes, look. You possess me. Why am I dying? Okay, um... And, and, yeah, if the tormented spirit possess you, right, you just gonna go faster. Yeah, like, literally just go faster. Oh my god. <laughs> I did not dodge that. That was super painful. Rip EXP. Okay, next case, I'm just gonna travel upwards first. I think it's because of the beyond. There's a beyond again in this map. Gosh, I seriously hate the Beyond man. Okay, we got more Chaos Orb. I'm poor, so I gotta pick up the Chaos Orb. I, I wish there was something that can block Beyond man. But it's getting a little bit annoying at this point. Man. Oh, that's a possessed monster. Yeah, sometimes possessed monster, when you have like good rewards inbuilt into it already, right? The possessed monster is going to give you so much more reward. Okay, we have the second harvest. Really good. I'm just going to open a portal here. Okay, usually, usually I'll open a portal. So this one has two rares. And yes, both the rest duplicated. Ow. Is that Soul Eater? I think so. Why, why is that guy so big? It suddenly became so big. Why did I not run away? I, I saw that thing exploded, man. <laughs> I saw that thing exploded. Yeah, shit. Stuff like this do happen. Run, run, run. Why does this rare monster have so many mods? Oh, periodically rages. Okay. No wonder. Okay, next one. Uh, I'm just gonna take yellow. This is really weird. This is really weird because the what is that? The the compass is actually for purple plants. But my yellow plants are better here. Like look, I, I until now I don't even have a single purple plant. But the compass is for purple. <laughs> Ooh. Gotta run away from those. Nice. One, two, three, four, five. Eight, eight. There have. There was like five rare monsters there. Okay, next. Look, I, I can't take the purple again because this has two. Ahem. <clears throat> Oh, finally. Okay, it, the crop did not wither. That's pretty nice. I will finally have a purple. That's very tanky. One, two, three, four, five. No more, right? Okay, I'm gonna put one side first. And continue on with the rest of the map. There is a... Uh... Huh? What? What just happened? What, what thing killed me? <laughs> oh my god, I really used four portals this map. 
tree is literally from harvest from stupid mistakes. Don't tell me it's because of the uh, what's that? Beyond man. Yeah, I really hate Beyond, but guys, Beyond actually gives. Oh, come in. Possess me. Oh yes. <laughs> The animation is long, okay. The animation is long, but it's good. It's, it's it, it really just improves the whole entire loot drop from you because you are I'm a melee character. So anything that spins on me is like going to have their what's that? Their loot increase. I think I missed some stuff behind. Oh, it's just silver coin. Yeah, it only lasts for 20 seconds actually, so it's pretty short. Are we done? Oh, we're not done. Okay, we're done. So that is the second round. Yeah, I think I took a little bit too long. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this here first. Um, and we're just gonna go with the third map quickly. So you can see I have... Wow, I already have 8,000. Yeah, I already have nearly one div worth of life force. Okay, um, yeah, because the first one was really very lucky, I will just take it as maybe I have half. At least half of this of life force. Okay, at least. No matter what, right, you're still gonna profit. I guarantee you, you are still gonna profit. Okay, and by the way, this is not a force out um, harvest. Okay, this is just a chance to encounter. So, on and off, you will get 2 to 3, um, two to three harvests per 4 maps. Okay, it's pretty normal to know. Oh, we have awakened section. Nice. So yeah, it's pretty normal sometimes to not have anything. Flash charges, flash duration. Oh damn, can't take that. You gotta notice about this kind of small little things in your altar also, okay? If there's like like you see I took the awaken sextant, right? And if there's like a basic currency duplication on the altar and you are able to do it, please take that. Remember that's like it's like 50 Awakened Sextant is equal to one divine, so it's really expensive. What is this? Hop of binding? Yeah, I'm taking all my. So many awakened sextant. Yeah, I really feel so good. Why is my all binding pink color? <laughs> Why is that all of binding pink color? I think there's some color coding problems with my filter. Oh my god, that lag. So I have the red. Hmm? More awakened section. That is really a lot of awakened section from this map, man. Oh yes, and by the way, I think some of you guys actually ask if when you, you know, you take the, um, is that the, the Tormented Spirit, uh, notes, do the, um, oh my god, wait a second, do the, um, uh, what is that, do the Searing Exarch monsters actually get possessed? The answer is no. Okay, when you take that note, they are already possessed on the spot at that time of the map. 
whatever rare monsters that is available on the map. Yep. Okay, this is the third harvest. Okay, this this run is pretty good. Like encountering harvest every single run. <clears throat> so on unlucky runs, right, you can actually encounter one in every format for me, okay? Do not do not be alarmed, it is normal. You do encounter this kind of situations, then on lucky situations you encounter like harvest in every map like now okay i assume that the next map is not going to be harvest okay based on the um, general probability you should i should not have a harvest okay otherwise otherwise <laughs> if have then just consider it as it's a very lucky encounter maybe my next four runs i'm gonna miss three or miss all that works as well so the probability is actually still just right there. The harvest is like 50-50 to encounter it. Am I bleeding? Yeah, I was bleeding. Okay, let's finish this up and go to the last run. Wait, what is this back here? Like, is it ghost or? Ghost. I think we are done. We are done, right? Yeah, I think this is the last portion of the map already. Two monsters. Alright, let's go back. Let's quickly just do the last map. <coughs> right, last map. And go. We have 2,000, 2,000, 6,000. This is 10,000 worth of life force. Oh no, there's this. I hate this. I really hate this man. Where did they are? Oh, it's here. What? Okay, that was very random. That was really, really very random. Okay, let's see if I'm lucky enough to get another life force. So what is this cartographer? Yeah. I definitely will not want to take far position. More like you should you should not even be taking that unless you have a mish blood. Oh yes, by the way, this is a this is a 24% pack size map when I activated. Okay, this is something that I want to show you guys. Uh, one second. So when you activate a 24% pack size, you actually see 51% pack size. But when you use a 23% pack size, it is actually 49% pack size on the map. Okay, so that is why I say a minimum of 24% is needed. Okay, looks like we have no harvest this map. I think it's oh no we have oh my god. I think I'm gonna be cursed for the next four maps. <laughs> Definitely gonna be cursed for the next four map. Yeah. Okay guys, this is not normal, alright. Having four harvests in four maps is not normal. I repeat. Okay, um, just gonna take blue. Yeah, usually you should only encounter like two in every format. This is not normal. But I mean, uh, well, it's a good showcase also. Oh, no, um, so I have one and one. Oh, I'm finally taking another purple.
Oh, he did not duplicate. This guy, he did not duplicate. Oh my, this one did not vitter. I think the chance to not vitter is 10% It's actually not a lot That is scary man. Okay, another purple Yeah, so this This is a very good example of what kind of harvest you should have inside your sacred grove Okay, not Not having 3 rare monsters every single time That's not normal so you should have like only one or two every crop. Is that all? Is that all? Okay, that's all. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly finish up the rest of the map. Yeah, I'm gonna ignore that. Yeah, unless he comes, okay, he came. Having those rare possessed monsters is really very good. Okay, we're done. I think, yep, we're done. Alright, I'm gonna go to the highlight now and just quickly show you my loots. I have not put any to the stash. So, map sustain, you can see we are sustaining our maps really very well. Okay, just one for one. Sometimes you might get more um as of the life force this is how much i've got i've actually gotten a lot okay if you were to plus this two together okay 2006 plus 6003 that is like 9000 so plus 3000 is like 12,000 12, worth of life force okay so this is a very lucky situation because of the first round otherwise you should get about 9 to 10k in one uh in okay maybe not 9 to 10k let's say I, I will say 8k is the nice number okay 8000 is the nice number for a life force every compass run right and the rest is just all your searing exarch um currencies okay there's 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 really there's really nothing um special about it but it's just good old currencies man all of this Alright, with that said, I hope all of you guys have enjoyed the video. Enjoy your harvest farming. It's really the chillest and the like the easiest strat I've always played. I've always loved to play harvest because it's just very chill. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!